Today I'm going to show you how to make some beef and chorizo empanadas. These are low carb and they use the famous fat head dough. So for the filling, you're going to need 8 ounces each of ground beef and pork chorizo. Now this is a raw ground or minced pork Mexican uh, chorizo mix. It's not the Spanish chorizos, which are a smoked sausage. Um, so 8 ounces each would be about 227 grams each, roughly. Then we're also going to need a half a cup of onion that's already diced, two cloves of garlic minced, or you can just use te two teaspoons if yours is already minced like mine, two tablespoons of tomato paste, some sea salt and black pepper, two hard-boiled eggs that have been chopped, three green onions. We're going to chop the white and the green part of these. And then eight green olives that are chopped. Okay, so for the dough, we're going to need one and a half cups mozzarella cheese shredded, three tablespoons of cream cheese, three quarter cup of almond flour, one large egg, a teaspoon each of garlic powder and onion powder, and then it calls for a teaspoon of Italian seasoning, which I don't have on hand, so I'm just going to use half a teaspoon each of oregano and basil, uh, and then also salt and pepper. So we're going to preheat the oven. Now it says 425 Fahrenheit, which would be around 220 Celsius. My oven's fan for so I'm going to back that up a bit. So I've got a large skillet that I've preheated over a medium to medium high heat, and we're going to add our meat. That's the ground beef. Now again, this is Mexican chorizo, which is a raw ground or minced product. If you can't find it where you have, where you live, I have a recipe um, that I've shared in my previous video for how to make it homemade, which is what I'm using here. So you might want to reference that. Now we're going to also add our half cup diced onion, two cloves of garlic, and salt and pepper to taste. Just cook and stir that until the meat is nicely browned. Okay, so that's nicely browned. So I've drained uh, the grease. I didn't have very much really, but make sure you drain any excess grease that you have. And then we're going to add our tomato paste. Mix it in and just saute for maybe another five minutes. Okay, so now I'm just going to take this cooked meat mixture and we're going to transfer it to a larger bowl. Because it's hot I'm just using a ceramic one, but any bowl that you've got that can take the heat is fine. Now to that we're going to add our chopped boiled egg, our chopped olives, and our chopped green onion. Now just mix that together well. And then just set it aside while we make the dough. So the first step in making the dough is in a large mixing bowl you're going to combine your mozzarella cheese and your cream cheese and we are going to be microwaving this. I just like to use this glass pie pan but really any dish that you can microwave is just fine. So we'll start by kind of combining these as best you can. That looks good and then we'll pop that in the microwave for one minute. Now we're just going to stir this together and that's going to go back in the microwave for another minute. Okay. So that's the second heating, and I'm just going to stir that a bit because it's much more melty and creamy now. Now we'll stir in our almond flour, the egg, and our seasoning. It should start to come together to form a dough. You want to make sure that egg is mixed through thoroughly though, so make sure you keep mixing it really well. Okay, so ideally you'd want to have some baking paper. Um, I like to lay down one sheet, put the dough in the middle, and another sheet on top so I can roll it out nice and thin. I'm actually out of baking paper at the moment, so I'm going to use this plastic. So I'm just going to roll this out fairly thin. not looking for any particular shape here, we just want to cut circles out of it. So just when it looks about the right thickness. Maybe an eighth inch or so, that looks pretty good. So I'm just going to use the top of a drinking glass to cut out circles. Now it says you're supposed to get about 12 out of this. That's going to depend on the size glass you use, of course. So once you've got all your circles cut out, We'll use the excess dough to roll up again and keep going. 
can just take an amount of the filling, now not too much, and fold your pastry over. And just try to press the edges to seal. You can use a fork to just sort of pinch the edges together. And just continue on until you've got them all stuffed. I'm finding it easiest just to fold it over and smush it together to get the edges sealed. And if it tears a little hole in the top, just use a little piece of excess dough to pop back over. It's working well for me. So there they are, all ready to pop in the oven. Now I will tell you, I had quite a bit of filling left over, so you might want to do a double batch of the dough or cut your filling ingredients in half. So now we're just going to pop these in our preheated oven for about 12 minutes or until golden brown. So that's been 12 minutes and those are looking golden. I'm ready to pull them out. So there you have it, beef and chorizo empanadas, low carb, gluten free, and uses the famous fat head dough. You can put anything you want on the side to dip them in. You could use a chimichurri sauce or a taco sauce or salsa. I've just got a bit of sour cream with some French Red Hot sauce in it. Mmm, really good. Hope you give it a try.